Hello and welcome to today's video and today we're taking a step back from Warhammer instead looking at Infinity. I've started to I've wanted to play an Aleph army for Infinity in a while and considering the Steel Phalanx box that recently came out I thought I'd make the delve. Uh, but while we wait for my Steel Phalanx box to arrive I thought I'd buy Achilles just to lead my force. I've played Infinity for a while, um, since about Christmas, and I've played Pan-Oceana with Military Orders and Neo-Terra being the main focus. So I feel like the going from the cheap, uh, the cheap units where you pay for stats to the expensive units where you pay for rules will be an interesting change to undergo. And it's something I want to do as a kind of series for this channel. But today we're just going to start with an unboxing of Achilles V2 in the Hoplite armour. Uh, this is going to be a complete unboxing, literally all I've done off camera is just remove this tab and the staple from the top just because I find them hell to remove, especially on camera. So first we open up and this is definitely one of my favourite things about Infinity, these little art cards. I love to keep them round for painting advice, um, what the model should look like at the end, etc. So inside we've got a standard 25mm base and the complaint code. And then onto a little baggie of bits and the main body. This seems like a very good cast. I can't really see any uh, imperfections in it, very little mould lines if at all. So it looks decent, I like it, it's a good solid crisp sculpt. You can see what it's meant to be, yeah. And then onto the bag of bits. So let's just take these out. Uh, so first we'll have a look at Achilles head. There we go, if we can get some focus. Uh, I will say Corvus Belly does a very good job at sculpting heads um, and faces. The faces are always clear. They convey a strong sense. Like here, you get this look at a stoic warrior with long flowing hair pulled straight from Greek mythology, which of course Achilles is. Then we've got his right arm, which is a, a multi-rifle. With the hoplite armor. Uh, the multi rifles definitely look a bit different from the Pan Oceana ones that I'm used to, but different is good. And again, a nice clear, crisp sculpt. And I like on the shoulder pad, if we have a look here, it's got his little Myrmidon symbol sculpted on, so it's not needed to be freehand or the new Infinity decals that have been released. And his other hand is his, I believe it's an explosive close combat weapon, but I'll need to check that, and then the Aleph symbol. It's a nice clear sculpt again, very little cleanup required. Um, seems like I won't need to play my favourite game of is it Flash or is it part of the sculpt of this model. Uh, so I will be returning in a very brief moment for you anyway, with the finished built model and a review of the build process. So here he is, the finished Achilles V2. Um, building him was incredibly easy, it took about all of 10 minutes, uh, and that's including cleaning up. There is some little bits of work here and there that needs to be done on him, like filling in some gaps with some green stuff, but that's an easy enough job. Uh, one thing I'm getting when I look at him compared to other Infinity models is he is big for a Silhouette 2 model. For example, here's a Fusilier from Panoceana. Achilles towers over him. Now I know what you're thinking, oh this is a light infantryman versus Achilles in his super powered armour. So instead, so on t in addition to that, I've also got the Orc from the starter set with Pan Oceana, um, who is also wearing heavy armour and 
as you can see, he's also way shorter than him despite being the same template. And just in case it was a recreation thing, I've also got the limited edition Joan that I recently acquired off my friend. And you can see the height's a bit closer here, but it's still a good sizable difference. So that's something you can use to your advantage, but also your opponent will be able to see where Achilles is a lot better. Um, as for the actual model itself though, when I'm looking at it, it's a very crisp model, especially when together. It's very clear who it is. There's no thing of, oh, who could this be? It is definitely Achilles in his hoplite armour. I personally prefer this sculpt a lot more compared to his V1 sculpt, so if that was the case, so if I do feel like using V1 Achilles, I will be using this sculpt as well. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy it, hope you like the step away from Warhammer for a change, just to get something different. Um, I will see you in the next one.